She's a future screenwriter. <laughs> Daniel Gepper. Come on, Daniel. Woo. I'm sorry. You have to spell la larger for me, okay? Thank you, everybody. Come on, give it up for us. How's it working tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I went to my friend's house the other day, started looking through his movies, and then it ran across a bunch of porno films he has. And I asked him, I said, how often do you watch these things? He says, all the time. And I realized, you know, I haven't lived at home for a long time, neither has he, so pretty much we can watch porn whenever we want. We won't have to worry about anyone, you know, bothering us about it. That's the funny thing with people that live at home, you know. I would have to say the people that watch porn when they're at home are the most dedicated people in the world. Because they'll do anything to watch porn. They'll wait till everyone's asleep, they'll go in their room, stay up all night watching porn. They know they gotta be at work the next day, they end up calling out because they watch porn all night. All night. This isn't a sequel to a movie. You're not sitting there thinking like, oh my god, is she gonna die? Is the world gonna end? What's gonna happen? It's porn, it all ends the same way, but it's so damn addictive, you watch it all night. I think though the real fans of porn would have to be the people that watch it in the living room. Oh shit to this one. They don't have TVs in their room. This is pretty much the family TV. So you don't have black boxes or anything like that. So you gotta watch the scramble porn. Everyone loves the scramble porn stuff. When you watch it, you gotta sit there and kind of focus, you know? Make sure you're like facing a chick's leg or you know some dude like moving around or something. It's like playing Jenga with a bunch of people. You gotta look at all angles, make sure you don't tip it over. You know, so you're sitting there watching it, trying to see as much as you can. And then you gotta worry about what if someone comes down the hallway? So you run over the hallway. Okay, no one's lights on. Okay, back to the porn. And then you do this over and over. You can't really even enjoy the porn because you're running back and forth. And then there's sound. Everyone loves sound with porn. Even if you hate porn, you'll love the sound that comes with it. But you know what? The thing about porn sound, it's louder than anything in this world. You can have bomb shopping outside your house, jet engines flying straight over, ambulances banging on people's doors. But if you have that thing higher than volume five, it's like Celine Dion in an arena. It just echoes across the entire house and everyone knows you're watching it. You know, and what happens if you see the person coming down the hall you're like, great, you saw that, now what are you supposed to do? You run to the couch, you change the channel, they come out there seeing you, three o'clock in the morning, channeled on this, some infomercial, the volume all the way down and you're out of breath. Are they gonna believe you? No way in hell. They're gonna know damn well what you're doing and they're gonna even be more pissed off that you're trying to hide it with the volume down. So unless you have a magical trap door that leads directly to your room, I don't suggest anyone watching porn in the living room unless people leave out of town. My name is Daniel Geffrey. Have a great night.